gastrointestinal distress. <laughs> any, any story that starts with those, is that two words? That's a lot of letters for two words. It's got to be good when it starts G -I. with that. G-I. G-I-D. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, get, I got like uh, uh, a stomach virus during the tour and uh, got quite ill overnight and then, and then uh, uh, couldn't sleep that well. We were staying in a gymnasium, the whole Peloton, on cots. Those were the good old days. When I was your age, when we did the tour day, France, we didn't have hotel rooms. <laughs> we slept in a school gymnasium on cots. I feel like, I feel like your granddad, you know. When I was your age, eight hours at the bottom of the East River, working. Eight hours, granddad? Eight hours, not one breath of air. That's impossible. Shut up! I'll kick your head in if I could catch you. So I feel like <laughs> when I was a bike racer. <laughs> so we stayed in this gymnasium, and my, my bowels decided to go haywire the same night. And my cot was as far from the bathroom as... So I'm running across the gym. I trip over Bernardino. Blam! Oh, American. Putain. I'm like, so I'm sorry, running all night, back and forth, all night, from my cot to the bathroom. Then finally I got tired of that, so I got a garbage can and put it in my corner. And I felt bad in the morning that some janitor would have to clean that up, but I'm like, I'm a professional athlete. I'm a, I don't need these inhumane conditions. But after that, the opposite effect happened, and I got a little bit, you know, impacted. And so a couple days later, they all decided to break loose during this one stage. So um, in the morning, I was so exhausted, I couldn't pin my numbers on. So my team manager pinned my numbers on, but he, he pinned them onto the bib shorts, which, which the pros wear. So I'm like, oh God, oh boy. So <laughs> I take my jersey and I, I go to take my jersey off so I can stop and, and go to the bathroom and it gets to right about here. <laughs> and I'm like, help me! Help me! And I'm going through the Peloton with my knees on the top tube trying to try <laughs> rip my jersey off. And <laughs> everybody is screaming in the, look out, here comes Bobby Jesus! What the hell are you doing? And it's stuck right here. Help me! I can't see anything. My jersey's over my face. So luckily for the Peloton, the road curved, and I didn't see it. So I went straight off the road into this ditch, and there was mud in the bottom of it. And the mud was flying, and I had my jersey over my head. Help me! And all the spectators were scattering all over the... And mud was flying. It was, and they had all their best clothes on. So mud is like... And I'm screaming, holding on to my top tube with my legs. Ah! And uh, a driveway, a driveway came over the culvert, and I hit the driveway. I never saw it, but I went over the bars, and that gave enough momentum for the jersey to come ripping off. I was like, oh, thank God. And I ran around the hedge and just blam! I was like, ah. <laughs> And it was such a relief, and I was smiling like, oh, man. That was... And I looked, I looked behind me, and a French family was having a picnic <laughs> in, <laughs> in their front yard, and the grandma was like, oh, God. They're like, oh, man, these Americans, oh, my God. And they had the perfect, like, linen, you know, porcelain picnic. So I'm like, you won't mind if I <laughs> use one of your napkins. <laughs> so I come running back out, and, the, and my bike is in the road after having been dislodged from me. And the team manager, Mike Neal, is standing there like, have you seen the guy that was riding this? <laughs> and all the French people are yelling at them because they're covered in mud. So, <laughs> so I'm like, Mike, where's my, you idiot, you pinned my numbers on my bib shorts. It's like, so what? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? The race is miles, miles away. I'm like, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. He's like, how bad? I'm like, really bad. He's like, oh my God. So I put my jersey back on. 
and the numbers were just demolished because the pins <laughs> just exploded. So I got back on my bike. It took like 50 Ks to catch the Peloton by myself. And when I caught back on, they were so pissed. They couldn't believe it that they hadn't gotten rid of me. <laughs>